Alright, we're going to go right inside and see how it looks like. What's up beautiful people, how you all doing? My name is Ali. Today, I'm going to be introducing myself to you guys, uh, what I do. Before that, let's get to the airport. I've got a flight to catch at 8 o'clock and I don't have to be on the highway at 7 o'clock because... Alright, I just got to the airport. It's still uh, 6 30 and I have enough time to go, you know, wait for my flight. So beautiful people, welcome to this video. Real quick, like I said, um, today I'm gonna be introducing myself to you guys, um, what I do, you know, up here in China. A lot of people think I'm a YouTuber, you know, I'm a blogger or something like that. You know, I just love sharing information online and, you know, trying to encourage people uh, on what they do and, you know, just trying to share my, my, my experience and, and uh, what's going on here in China. Basically, I'm from, uh, southern cameroon aka ambazonia and the entrepreneur based here in uh, china shanghai and i do export uh, goods to uh, a lot of different african countries uh, you know all over the world so uh, today i'm going to be taking you guys with me to one of my suppliers um about three hours flight from here you know and um yeah so that you guys can actually experience what it takes to order goods from china and export you know first step confirm uh, whatever you want to buy, you know, receiving samples, confirm the price, go visit the factory, make sure they are genuine, then you can now take a decision and make sure the production um, begin. I'm going to be taking you guys with me today so as to actually experience the entire route, how it do feels and what it takes to actually uh, purchase goods from China and export, all right? So stay tuned while I get to uh, the factory at Chengdu City, all right? Peace out. We just got to uh, Chengdu airport right now and uh, still about to exit. I hope my supplier is at the arrival section waiting. So hopefully I am sure everything is going to be smooth. So stay tuned. I guess he can recognize me. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention please? We regret to announce that flight CH 9163 These are some of the challenges when you arrive at the airport and you're going to meet somebody you've never seen before or you know he has never seen you before but just talk on the phone and uh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention? Everything please? comes with challenges. Spike, Spike. Hi, Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. So, I was inside. So you... Yeah. I was outside. Uh, we're heading to the factory right now to, <laughs> yeah, to see how everything goes. So, all right. <laughs> Hello, you are from Nigeria? No, I am from Nigeria. But... 你的生意这边在可以你这个样子吧对对对嗯哦成都之间太阳挺好的挺好对你来说没问题你你你你照一下这个我事儿的你上海是下雨的对你说没问题你你你你照一下这个我事儿的你上海是下雨的对你说没问
and um, very important person. The this boss. is this is the boss, <laughs> Mr. Chen. This is Mr. Chen. This is his uh, colleague, uh, Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen. Joe. That, that is Mr. Joe. Joe. That is Miss Janet. Miss Janet. Miss Janet. And this is Mr. Zhao. Mr. Zhao. Yeah. Yeah. Huge. His English name is huge, but do you not huge, but it's quite interesting. What I like about um, Chinese people when it comes to business is one the cooperation is very important they don't care how small you are but they care about long-term cooperation Correct. secondly I came here you know purposely to see exactly what I want to buy but in China it's not possible first you have to go for lunch before you can actually see what you are actually interested in buying friendly and uh, caring so these are some of the things you have to take into consideration when you work with Chinese suppliers. Actually, in China, yes, uh, more than seventy percent of the business we negotiate on the table in a restaurant. Yes, most yes, of them. Yes, yes, <laughs> on the dinner table. Yes, yes. on the dinner <laughs> table. <laughs> yeah, that's where you negotiate yeah. business, not in the office. In the mm. office is where you sign. You just sign the you know the yes. contract. After our dinner, we're gonna head to the factory, and I show you guys around. All right, we are now at uh, Atlantic, uh, the factory at Chengdu. Before we were at the office, so now we are at uh, the factory. We're gonna visit the factory and see how it looks like. You know, that's the flag of the company, Atlantic. This area is all about factories. Okay, uh, hey, this is our Chengdu company. Wang Wang Zong. Okay, all right, we're gonna have a little meeting. Okay. Um, after, I'm gonna show you guys the factory. Little meeting first. They are raw materials, you can see right here. Yes. Why is it that the raw materials are not covered? Because, like you see, it is exposed and. Uh, they're trying to explain like there's no like he said there's no need to you know cover it with tapoline because uh, in a few days they're gonna use it so um, no need to cover it Friday they have to stop production because uh, Friday is clean up. They have to do clean up inside and uh, make sure the place it's uh, clean. But because of uh, too much order coming in, they have to work today. So if we have to go inside, they will probably have to provide us with a face mask. So let's hold on and uh, someone come. face mask. So we can run. Let me find out what is this. Uh, oh, waste. waste. Yeah, waste. waste. Yeah. yeah, they're trying to explain like this is waste that comes from the metal part. And uh, it actually, they call it waste, but it's not waste because they still have to sell it for other production, you know, other items. Nothing is waste in China. Nothing at all. So actually, these big bags are bags that are being used to. Uh, package the raw materials used for making the welding rod i don't know if we will have the opportunity i'm going to show you guys the material one of that's the main ingredient used for producing welding rod all right so 
let's just wait for our mask once we go inside i'm gonna show you guys all right let's go get our face mask okay all right i think i look okay right now Right, we're gonna go right inside and see how it looks like. For the second part of this video, and don't forget to subscribe for more business videos and ideas on what business you can do in China.